Hey guys. Hey guys. So, these are some of the funniest moments in the press conference. I was curious if you feel a lot safer about this fight John now that it's been moved to Las Vegas. Oh, that's not John Jones. Well, you might want to check your local no. paper. You guys aren't exactly a haven for civility at all times. I don't know. <laughs> Just because we're in Las Vegas all of a sudden, you, you know, you start roaming around late at night. But, uh, <laughs> Floyd, like Chuck, with all respect. They say old dogs, they don't learn on new tricks. But, you know, hunted dogs, they're always going to be ending catching the rabbit. Are you going to be ending catching the rabbit? What? You are the winner. You're the champion. Yes. I don't know what you said, but... <laughs> Same. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. I'm the winner. I'm the champion. I like that. <laughs> I don't know what you said, but thank you. So I, I wanted to finish, and I mean, I'm looking to get paid here. We get we get looked after when we finish. <laughs> this hot. promotion yep. works finishes, you know what I mean? And that's what I'm looking for. These custom-made suits aren't cheap, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> this, this solid gold pocket watch, three people died making this watch, you know what I mean? <laughs> so any chance of bringing back three drills for a Japanese guard? Who did you say? Paid rules. Paid rules. Pride rules. Paid. Paid rules. You're killing me over there, Braveheart. Uh, <laughs> Is that the same guy? Um, no. <laughs> A few questions for Robbie, please. Robbie, uh, Whoa, Steve, they look so young. Um, I wanted to ask you, there, there's a, uh, a really cool moment there at the... Uh, um, Spit it out. At the end of the fight where uh, you guys kind of collapsed at the same time on the cage. Uh, w w were you aware of that? I mean, what's going through your head and how do you feel in that moment? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Translator? Uh, so sorry. My bad. What? I'm so lost. What happened? I think everyone's a little confused. Oh, you, you thought that was Robbie Lawler? <laughs> <laughs> you thought that was Robbie Lola. Oh, <laughs> my God. Off, my bad. You cover this sport? You thought that was <laughs> I'm sorry. On your, <laughs> on your left. On your left. It was nervous. Yeah. Oh, s***. <laughs> yeah. Rampage. The hell you won't. <coughs> the hell well, you congratulations on the win, first and foremost. Uh, uh, that, that means a lot coming from you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, well, I got to plead ignorance on that first fight. And you're right. I thought if you tapped, it ended the round. <laughs> I did not know that the contest as a whole would come to a conclusion. There is a lot going on with your AKA family. I mean, between your brother and in the media getting beat up and, and AKA. Shields. Uh, hey, I'm sorry. Uh, Caesar Gracie. Caesar Gracie. Yeah, Caesar oh, Gracie. I'm sorry. God. I'm sorry, right? Come on, Brock. 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 Come on, just last week, I was collecting the social welfare, you know what I mean? I, I, know how to, I, was, I was in San Diego, like, I don't know what's going to happen. Like, I'm signed to the UFC, I don't know what, blah, blah, blah. But now I suppose I'm just going to have to tell them to fuck off. <laughs> what's the severity of your, your hand injury? What'd you say? How injured is your hand? Man, you know, you got to use lamest terms when you talk to me, homie. Come on, man. Don't be trying to show your education up here, man. Come on, dog. Don't do, don't do me like that. The hand. Is what about it hurt? What you want to know? <laughs> your hand. What about it? How hurt is it? Hurt, it's not hurting up to whoop your ass right now. <laughs> <laughs> you said you left because you weren't healthy. When did you start to feel better, and did you have any other procedures after you left the UFC and before you came back? Well, I think it was like day 49 after I left. Like, I can't remember the exact hour. <laughs> I feel fucking awesome. Why does it matter? I'm here. I, I, I'm gonna go see the doctor. I'm gonna go see the doctor. Uh, uh, maybe uh, Tuesday, because you know. I'm, but I see this look. This look. This little finger right here is swollen. <laughs> honestly, honestly, it is. I know it's bad, but this finger right here is swollen. I gotta check that out. Why are you asking questions in English? Anderson sits here like he doesn't understand you. Ed Soros interprets, and we gotta hear it a second time. Ooh, First off, he speaks so English, and second, we could replace Ed Soros with an app I could download for nine ninety nine. <laughs> if you believe in something, if you know something is gonna happen, if you're confident in that situation, oh, he gets knocked out this fight. In life. That's how you or is this overcome the first one? things. That's how you put yourself out there. You believe it. First or the second and one? And you achieve it. And that's what I do. I know what I'm going to do. 
I know that I'm better than this. Sounds like I the know that I'm gonna knock him yeah, out. Yeah, he's knocked out this believe, achieve. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Who do you think looks the hardest fight out of anybody on stage? Right here. Right here, the hardest hitting 145 pound, the real hardest hitting 145 are right here. This guy TKOs people. He's when talking. I knock people out, they don't fucking ah. move. Jeremy Steve. Who the fuck is that guy? <laughs> 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 Uh, we have been waiting three years until your fight, so what is your feeling now? Tell? Mm, hello, sweet potato. What was the question? <laughs> I was a little distracted. <laughs> My question was, what is your feeling now, Tell? Mm, pretty excited, as a matter of fact. <laughs> but back to the fight. But, you know, I got a lot of things I want to do. I got these finger pain things I really love doing. I really love that stuff. Finger, finger, oh, man, finger pain. I'm actually getting good at it now. I made a peacock the other day. <laughs> it was very beautiful. <laughs> so, you know, if, when I retire, I think I'll be making a lot of finger paints and put it all over the house and stuff. Might sell some on eBay. If you guys interested in it. Does the tension grow up since Bellator 172? That's Matt first. I'm, I'm sorry, could you fire that one off again? It's a problem, isn't it, Matt? The yeah, it is a it's really a problem up here. <laughs> Mildly distracted. <laughs> yeah, but I don't feel like there's any tension at I all. Know. There is. It's on his part, and I haven't picked it up yet, but he seems cool as a cucumber to me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, the tension is going away gradually. He's <laughs> why. <laughs> I'm not sure. That's a translator. You feel like you're representing the old school little bit, and you need to teach this kid a lesson. I think it's when he first John Jones. Yep. Only 33, man. Y'all act like I'm Brandon Couture's decrypted on the way. Question to Mark 1. There's a clip Musashi. when you're eating an apple on the, on the net, and it's got more than 20,000 uh, comments. Can you tell us what the secret is and what's so special <laughs> with your e apple eating? Oh, my God. <laughs> Why is he eating the apple like that? I don't know. The, uh, I got like thousand friend requests and ninety percent are from <laughs> girls, and they all send me messages that uh, I love your smile and way how you eat the apple, and it gets oh like uh, nine hundred thousand views. It's a uh, it's uh, pretty huge for eating apple. <laughs> Well, first off, I offer absolutely zero apologies. And secondly, listen, guys, if you're not willing to go too far, you will never go far enough in life. And I don't care. I don't promote fights. I pick fights. I'm like John Jones. I sound like Sean Combs. And I got trombone-sized stones like John Holmes. Joe Rogan seemed to want to start a discussion with you at, the, at your post-fight interview. So what went through your mind when he, when he asked you if, if it was an early stoppage or not? So did, did, did it bother you at all? Or? No, it, just did, it didn't bother me, but I thought uh, he was a drunk because Andy Ogle went for Guys, double. Guys, we're trying like, to hit a thousand subs. Sorry. If you hit that, that sub button, so it's you much appreciated. Touch butt with that dork in the park, the ponytail. <laughs> and I'm the one who ain't got no training partner. I don't think so. You seem to have it all figured out when you're fighting midgets. Someone takes a possession of yours and waves it Is in that your sugar? face and tells you to come and get it, and you sit there and do nothing. That's the biggest sign of fear I've ever seen. We took this kind of monster energy from this table. <laughs> he said, come and get it. I drill it through his head. So, and, uh, would a rematch, be, uh, a rematch be an option for you, or do you just want to move on and... Uh... Against who? He just Against all. Apples. Come on, man. Eight seconds. Do you want less than that? I guess that's a no. <laughs> I like Nick, uh, Nick's little bro, you know what I mean? How can you not like him? He's, he's, like a, he's like a little cholo gangster from the hood. Cholo. But at the same time, but at the same time, he coaches kids jujitsu on a Sunday morning and goes on bike rides with the elderly. He makes gun signs with the right hand and animal balloons with the left hand. John Jones, RIP. Oh, RIP. Jesus. Yeah, they're friends. <laughs> That's exactly. They're trolling, they're trolling, Daniel. Uh... Rest in peace, in Bumble. <laughs> I'm gonna watch that again.
Do you want to go back? Or <laughs> we'll go back, we'll go back. <laughs> but Dana, Dana's like, oh, 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 o